Hello and welcome back. So today I have Shuri Surprise. Uh, this is a deck centered around Shuri. Uh, there is the Pixie and Mobius combo. There is Grandmaster, which on the last turn can double up your Shuri and or uh, Sean. Not and, just or. Uh, there's Ravona to discount Grandmaster, Pixie, and Taskmaster, and Shuri. Yeah, we're going to take this deck into ladder. I was experimenting with it off stream, and it seemed like it had some potential, fun potential. Uh, we're starting at 9,400, and we will see how far I can make my rank drop. Okay, up against the best worst player. In the 2000s. I could really use armor. Pixie. Let's see. Do I want to play Pixie? Why not? It's a fun deck. Let's go with Pixie route. Oh, they're giving us a vision. Okay. So I already have Shuri and Vision in hand. Hmm, a six cost Taskmaster. So I think I play just play Hulkbuster onto Krakoa, and then I will play Shuri Vision. Nice Red Hulk. And then see if we draw into Taskmaster. We do draw into Mobius, but just can't play him this turn. Daredevil makes me think Professor X. Okay, so I need to be able to use all of my energy. What is a Red Hulk at? I forget what the Red Hulk's at. 15? 15 is 4, 34. This is 33. This is 35. So do I just roll the 50-50? And hope Sean goes right? Fifty-fifty? Oh, nice. Just like I planned. Victory. All right, good win. Uh, you always take fifty-fifties. If it is a legitimate fifty-fifty, and it was here, uh, Sean only has two places to go. It's a fifty-fifty chance. Their Hulk only had one place to go. So because their Hulk had one place to go, now it is a legitimate 50-50. If their Hulk could have bounced mid instead with the armor, uh, it's less than a 50% and I need to leave. But because I know their Red Hulk can only go in the right lane, my Sean has a choice of two. So I just flip the coin uh, and stay in on all 50-50s. And you come out ahead because... If you stay in for every 50-50, that is a true 50-50. That's important. You have to recognize when it is a true 50-50. If you stay in on those games, you will come out ahead because 
people will retreat just naturally. If you hit intern, you're going to have a number of people that retreat. And then those are wins. And then you, you will be 50-50 on the rest. So ultimately, you end up coming out ahead. Okay, up next we have Bubbles. Oh, Kamertage with Shuri. And I have Kitty. Okay, we are taking the Shuri Kitty line. They have Red Hulk. Play this here. And then on turn four, maybe I play Ravona and Pixie. I want to try to manage their Red Hulk power this game. Oh, against the Hella deck. Okay. I don't want to play armor because they don't have Sean. Do I let the Red Hulk pump one more time? Play Ravona here. And do I get another kitty? I think I take another kitty. Oh, after turn four. Well, it could... Hmm. It could be destroyed. I think we're okay with that. Okay, 19, Red Hulk. Now what am I gonna do? Do I play Shuri in Sinister London? I think so. Shuri, get another kitty. I have two points of power. So we'll just do Pixie and another kitty. And of course, I need to be aware of Hella. Can I get Sean, please? Pretty, please? Okay. No Sean. He wanted to be in the bottom three. So if I do Grandmaster, into Kitty, I actually don't want to use this Kitty. I want to use this Kitty. And then stack power here. and then play my armor last. So I'm giving up left and stacking power mid and right. Let's see how this goes. Oh, not my Shuri, please. How did you do that? With style, Petit, with style. It would have won. Oh, it would have won. 
Gambit. Oh, Gambit. Dirty Gambit. Hmm. Well, I'm going to leave this in. Uh, that showed the a perfect line that this deck has. Unfortunately, we couldn't actually see it. But if the Shuri pops mid, uh, even ignoring Comertage, that's uh, a 16 power kitty. But with Comertage, uh, 32 power kitty, which is why I opted to play the 215s over here. So this is just rough. They played Gambit. Uh, boy, playing armor now in hindsight looks really bad. Uh, are not playing armor. Uh, that would have saved the Shuri. Uh, I I may have been able to see that in in advance, uh, and but I wanted to leave my Sean lines open because if you see, if I would have drawn Sean Shi, this also would have been somewhat of an easy win uh, because he blanks these lanes, uh, and I win tiebreaker if anything. So. So yeah, there you go. Okay, up next we have Ish Me. We are not going to get the Castle Blackstone bonus. And Death's Domain isn't great. So if anything, this is going to be a Shuri Vision Taskmaster type of game. So I will hold Hulkbuster one more turn. Because I have nothing to do. And I still really have nothing to do. If they snap, I'm retreating. I don't like playing into Hotel Inferno and thinning people's decks. So I normally avoid this location. On the turn, it becomes active. I've seen it help too often. Yeah, like I have no use for Cosmo. The rest of the game, I have no use for Cosmo. I wouldn't be able to play him. So we play Shuri into Vision. And then we should have the Castle Blackstone bonus. High Evo deck, okay. And really it just comes down to... Do we draw into Taskmaster? And then maybe do I go... Oh, uh, boy. I said I wouldn't play armor. Armor actually... Uh, well... He would have been good, or she would have been good, armor into Death's Domain, but uh, that's gone. Okay, I get my bonus. So She-Hulk is free if I skip this turn. And I'm going to skip this turn because I want a free She-Hulk. And I don't want to give them a Castle Blackstone bonus. I am afraid to snap. Hopefully they play one of their big cards not under Cosmo. Oh, I should have moved Vision. Okay. So, they let their Sunspot soak very high. Uh, what's the play here? I don't need to avoid the Cosmo lane. I can move Vision here. I have seven points of power, so my power is going to be Sean and Mobius. That's the most amount. And then if they play Infinite, so if they play Infinite here, and She-Hulk here. Uh, 
or they could play Infinite here and She-Hulk here. But I have a movable vision. So this would be a tie. And then what is this? Six points of power? Oh, this is just a lot is up in the air. Boy, that's a lot of uh, power. Okay, I could have just gotten away with one vision. Am I going to be able to escape with this Cyclops? How many pings are you going to get? One or zero? Ah, zero. Nice. Okay, yeah. this was There was a lot to weigh. You see they were able to slam down a lot of power last turn. Uh, so I, I just kind of had to make a best guess uh, based off of gut and based off of what I thought they were playing. So they actually... Abomination must have been one cost because She-Hulk was free and Hulk is six. So the Abomination being one saved the Cyclops from hitting. The other line that was going on in my head that I didn't uh, say before I made the move is I could have just moved Vision here. That would have covered the She-Hulk guess I had here at 13. And then I play Sh Sean and She-Hulk here. And then I guess the Mobius would also go here. So I would be up to 18. But that doesn't play around if they played like the Hulk here on the right. So this really was just a guessing game. But it also I also made it a guessing game for, for my opponent because of the movable vision. So uh, it helped that they soaked their sunspot so much. So it made playing my Sean a very easy line uh, in this lane. And honestly, if they suspected I had Sean, knowing that Sunspot was could get hit, they probably should have played Hulk over here. And that would have won if they had flipped Abomination and Hulk. So there are some better ways they probably could have played this. Uh, but again, a lot was up in the air. Because if I... Or maybe that was their play. Uh, but also, it's hard to run through all of those permutations in the time limit uh, we have, especially in these la uh, late rounds. So, another good win. Okay, next up we have... Uh, that's not a great hit for me. You will still skip. Uh, I'm afraid to play armor down whenever I see a Red Hulk. I want the Sean option. There is a very reasonable uh, argument to allow them to keep the Titan location, so that way they can get Red Hulk down early, and then I could Sean it. Uh, I could know exactly where to Sean. If this doesn't pull Sean, nice Gladiator will not destroy my new Squirrel. Okay, we will play Shuri here. Or do I play her mid for Vibranium? I want to play her mid for Vibranium. I have the cards that I need. Oh, that's actually fantastic. Very glad I played her mid now. 
Perfect. And we drew into Vibranium. So I have options. I can play Vision and then copy, copy it with Taskmaster. I could skip and play She-Hulk, Taskmaster, and we're going to hope we draw into Sean. So I'm going to play Vision. Okay. And we did not run to Sean because our deck is humongous. So we will go the uh, Taskmaster route. Can we potentially win mid? Another 16. Is 30, 33? We'll do an unorthodox play. Nice. They were thinking that I'd stay away from the Red Hulk lane, especially that I can move vision. So we just use that information against them, use their expectations against them. So yeah, it just came down to where ultimately they were going to Eliath. Their Eliath was a 50-50. If they play Eliath here, they win. Uh, if they play Eliath mid, they win. <laughs> so it really, it really was just expectations. Uh, and thankfully, we were able to pull it out. Okay, so I'm unsure of where exactly, uh, what games I included and all of this stuff, but uh, we definitely gained ranks. Uh, I will have my editor, me, uh, put the rank that we started at uh, and the rank that we finished. Uh, I'm pretty sure we gained a decent amount of ranks uh, with this deck, so it wasn't a complete loss. Uh, there were definitely a plenty of losses in here. Again, it's more of a fun deck, but clearly uh, the proof is here. You can use this deck to climb. Uh, and some of the lines are very interesting and really keep you engaged. And some of them are really boring. The Shuri uh, Vision Taskmaster line. So this is the deck again. And I encourage you to give it a try yourself if you have these cards. Uh, again, Pixie and Mobius are not required. Uh, Grandmaster has some pretty cool lines uh, that you got to see. Uh, but otherwise, take care.